Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is public transport and local media. And before we get into any lessons, my dear grade twos, we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and rub our hands very carefully. Remember, when we use sanitizer, we're trying to stay safe from any germs, especially from coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about crossword puzzle, word construction, and bridging of the number 10. first exercise today, boys and girls, let us turn to page 17. On page 17, we are going to be completing a word puzzle. Now we have done so many of these that I'm sure it's now easy for you. But just in case, we're going to go through them together. So we're going to start by writing the words or rather reading the words we can see in the box. Let us read TV, magazine, radio, computer, newspaper, telephone. Well done. Now this time I'd like you to please point to the picture for the word TV magazine, radio, computer, newspaper, telephone. Well done everyone. Now we are going to try and fill in the missing letters for each of them. Now as you can see I'm holding a phone in my hand and this is a smartphone. So they have already given us the first word going down, which is smartphone. Now we also use this when we're doing anything to do with media. We can watch movies, we can check the news, and we can also text each other about something that has happened in the country. So this is a smartphone. And we have written the word going down. Now we would like to do another one together and this time we're going to do the fifth word, number five. And the fifth word here is the word newspaper. So we are going to make sure that we write the long word newspaper going across. Now I want you to please look at the word newspaper and you are going to write it neatly. Now they have given us the first letter and one of the letters inside that shares with the word smartphone. 
So we're going to continue our word newspaper with an E, W, I hope you're following at home, S. So we have said news and then we need paper. Because the P is already there, we're not going to repeat it again. So we're going to leave it there for the word paper, P, and then we say A, P, E, R. Now we have completed our word newspaper. I want you to also please try and do the rest of this exercise by yourself. Remember, check the words in the box above and make sure that you put the words correctly in the right box. If the icon is on top, that means that the word is going down. But if it is next to it across, that means the word is also going to be across. Now that we're done with that one, before you continue it, please can we go to page 18. On page 18, we are continuing with our English, but this time we are going to be doing some word building. Now we're going to be constructing two letter and three letter words. Number one is asking you to use vowels and consonants to build up two letter words. You are going to use the letters in that box to make two letter words. They have even given you an example and the example is the word an. When you are done with that, you are going to now move on to number two. Now for number two, you're going to look at the letters in the wheel and you're going to write three letter words you can see on the lines. So that means that you need to fill up those lines with three letter words. I'm going to help you find two of those three letter words. Let's take a look at the board. Now I also have my wheel here with the same exact letters that are on the wheel in your booklet. So what we are going to do now is we are going to look for words on our wheel. So first we start with the outer side of our wheel and we have the sounds or the letters B, M, D, S, R and K. So we're going to start there. I would like to start with B. Now that we have done the first part of the wheel, let's try and move in and see if we can't find a vowel to help us. I think I would like the vowel U. Ah, ah. So I have B. Ah. And now I need to go out again in the outer side of the wheel. So far I have B. Ah. Now I need a letter to complete my wheel. I think I will use now that I have, I have made a three letter word. One, two, three words make the word bus. So one, two, three letters, not words, letters make the word bus. Let's try another one. I am going to start with r this time. So I'm going to put my r and then go inside my wheel and say eh, eh. So I have r, eh. And the last one outside the wheel, I will say d, r, eh, d. So my three letters have now made a word. Three letter word, red. So you're going to continue that one by yourselves and I know you're clever boys and girls because I know you know many, many words. Take your time with both exercises. Don't rush for the crossword puzzle and make words that make sense. 
I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our exercise now, boys and girls, let's turn to page 19. On page 19, we are going to be doing some bridging. And with the bridging, we are going to be using the number 10 to bridge. So we are going to be also using a bubble to help us with the bridging. Now they've already given you the first clue, but we need to finish that one together. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one says, Six plus four plus eight equals. So instead of just having the six plus four, we now have another number plus eight. Now, how are we going to do that with three numbers? Well, this is very, very simple, boys and girls. We are going to first add the two that we can see and we're going to put it in a special bubble so that we can continue adding. Now they have already put the answer of six plus four. Now if you have four fingers and you add six more, you get 10. So our answer here is 10. Now, we are going to take our 10 and then add 8. So we're going to first find our 8 with our fingers. 8, there we go. Are there 8? Yes, they are. <laughs> so we're going to find our 8. And then after that, we're going to count on from 10. So we are going to say 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we know that we add 10 plus 8 equals 18. Now let's do the second one together. But before that, let's check if our answer is correct. So we have 6 plus 4 which we said was 10. And then we add 10 plus eight, which we get 18 from. Now let's move on to the next one and see if we can do the same thing. The next one says five plus five plus five. Uh oh, <laughs> that's too many fives. How are we going to add three fives together? Well, that's very simple. We are going to be doing bridging. So the first thing we need to do is add five plus five. Now, if I put up my five fingers with my other five fingers, I have 10. So we are going to write our number 10. And then after that, we are now going to add 10 plus five. So we have our five fingers and we're going to add them to the number 10. So we are going to use our fingers by counting on. Let's go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So our answer, grade twos, is 15. Well done if you knew it before I said it. So now let's see if we did the right thing. We started by adding five plus five, which gave us 10. And then we put 10 in our bubble. Then we said 10 plus five. And we took our five fingers and counted on from the number 10, which gave us 15. 
Now I know that it might be complicated for some people, but don't worry everybody, you can always practice and ask for help. Just make sure that at the end of the exercise, you are able to do it by yourself. So take your time, use your fingers, your number line, or you can also use your counters to help you get the correct answers. I will see you soon after our advert break. Follow us on my zone Facebook, Active Kids, to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson and boys and girls, I hope you had so much fun. Remember, if you're not sure or you can't remember what to do, you can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure that you end up finishing your work by yourself. Now that we are done though, it is time for us to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and rub our hands carefully. Remember, you can always use soap and water to sanitize and keep your hands germ free. Make, your, make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I thought I saw him somewhere. My dear friend Sashi should be around. Oh, <laughs> hello Sashi. So from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>